Tom asked, why is it important to Dick and me that we support land conservation on the North Olympic Peninsula? Hmm, where to start? I began at our North Olympic Land, uh, land Trust website. History, check. Staff, check. Board of Directors, check. Almost everyone spoke of moving back to the Northwest, moving back to the North Olympic Peninsula. Forty-two years ago, we were living in the Northwest on 187,000 acres of wildlife refuge in southeastern Oregon, in a county larger than the state of Massachusetts, with just two traffic lights. Then we moved back from moved from Oregon back to my hometown in New Jersey, 15 miles from the George Washington Bridge in Manhattan. The wild duck pond where I had ice skated growing up <clears throat> had become wildly popular. So the woods had been trampled to death, a paved path now ringed the pond, and the water's edge was choked with moldy bagels brought by people to feed the ducks. How was I going to survive in this environment? First, I found a hiking club that hiked every weekend and camped in the mountains of New England one week every summer. The hiking opportunities one or two hours from New York City are beautiful and varied. Ownership of these conserved lands are a mix of federal, state, county, municipal, and private. And most of these lands were set aside years and years ago. For my second survival strategy, I wanted to be a NIMBY. Yes, not in my backyard. The county proposed a linear park along a brook through four towns with a paved path for walking and biking. The brook passed through the woods at the end of my street, and I didn't want to share the woods or risk access to my street from people by people from other towns. Thank goodness the county prevailed. <laughs> the park brought people outdoors year-round in a safe, green setting. I spent much more time on that bike path than I ever had scrambling through the thickets and brambles. So did families on bicycles, young professionals on inline skates, grandparents pushing prams, and joggers and runners. And the languages from different countries and different continents. And when Green Acre bonds were put on the ballots, they passed overwhelmingly. Voters valued the parks, the ability to get outdoors in a healthy way. Moving back, 20 years ago, we returned to the Northwest because it's beautiful because the air is clean and the water cascades from mountain to sea because the salmon do run and the crabs are delicious <laughs> the forests are living cathedrals and the farmers nurture the land to provide the best possible local food because this is the place where heart mind and soul call home. So what have my past experiences taught me about how we can support land conservation and the North Olympic Land Trust? First, appreciate the hard work and foresight of people who have built a land conservation ethic and the opportunities to experience it. Two, look for and support new opportunities. Three, maintain, expand, and protect conserved lands. And four, strengthen our conservation ethic in our communities so that our legacy will sustain future generations. Dick and I support the North Olympic Land Trust, and we invite all of you to join us. Thank you. <laughs>